In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to convert an Excel spreadsheet into something to where a user can input information into a form and then it goes into the proper cells. And we're going to use VBA to do that. So let's go ahead and open up a brand new Excel spreadsheet. On that spreadsheet, I'm just going to go down here to the cell and change the name of the cell by right clicking it, go on rename. You just say user info. You can use this for any reason. You can use it for your own reason. So, but for right now, I'm just going to be collecting users' information, some simple information, maybe for a group or for, for contacts. It really doesn't matter. You get the idea, and then you can customize what we do for your own purposes. The next thing I need to make sure that I have is the developer tab open here. If you don't see the developer tab, you just right click anywhere on your ribbon, and then you go to customize uh, ribbon right here. And then you're going to scroll down over here in this customized ribbon, and you'll see developer. You want to make sure that that's clicked. Then you click OK. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and set up our cells. And so we're going to hit uh, put, put your information that put the titles to the information that you're going to want to click. So I'm going to put first name and then last name, and then contact, and then uh, group or whatever, hmm, contact, yeah, group name is fine. And I'm going to go ahead and format these a little bit by making sure there's enough space there. I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to then just add some kind of, um, go to home. I can add some style to it. Yeah, something like that should be good. I am going to go to my Developer tab, and then I'm going to click on Alt F11, and then the Visual Basic for Application Coding Environment will pop up with this sheet selected. As you can see here, it says Sheet 1. Now, inside of Sheet 1, what I'm going to need to do is go to Insert and add myself a user form. And then what you'll see is this pop up with the toolbox here. And I'm going to go ahead and change this user form information by making sure my user form is selected, going over here to the properties, and then I'm going to change the name. I'm going to leave that user form. Um, I'm going to actually change this name to uh, UF Info. Yeah, user form info. And then I'm going to change this title up here. So I'm going to go down to this uh, caption. And I'm going to change this to uh, user info or whatever you want. From there, I'm going to go ahead and add the text boxes that I need to populate here. So I need a first name text box, last name, contact, and group. So I'm going to go over here and grab this text box. And I'm going to add it here. I'm going to change the name to txt first. I'm going to copy and paste that and change this name to txt last. Do the same thing for the other ones. Copy paste it. Now, why am I copying and pasting? I'll tell you why. Because if I were to set this up with all the parameters that I like, and I wanted all of these to be the same. By copying and pasting it, I get all the settings automatically. Even though I didn't do that, if I did, I get in the habit of doing this so I'm not repeating the same tasks all over again. So I have three. I need one more, but I need to name this one. XT Contact. So I have, I'm just rechecking this, I have my TXT first, TXT last, TXT contact, and TXT group. Now all I need to do is add my labels here. So I'm going to select this label. I'm going to drag it over here. I don't really need to name my labels because I'm not really going to be using them. Now in VBA you can double click on that and change this, the name here. 
So from there, I can copy and paste these. Now, I double clicked on that pretty fast. And what it did was it made this private sub LBL dot click. And that's not really what I meant to do. So you got to select these very, just click it once and then it'll go into edit mode. So don't click it fast. Either that or just change it over here. And what I mean by that is if I put this here and I go down here, I will see, where is it? Last name. And this is going to be contact. And as you can see, it still changes the same. And finally, this one's going to be group name. I'm going to make a little bit of room here. Actually, I can highlight all of these, select them all, and move them where I want them to be. Something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add myself a button. So over here is the button. I'm going to drag myself a button here. And then I'm going to change this button to... I think I should call that just enter because of the enter key. So I'm going to slow click on that and then change the name to enter. I'm going to drag it up and then I'm going to copy and paste that. And I'm going to slow, I'm going to one click on that, just one click and leave it. And I'll go into edit mode and I'm going to change this to close. Perfect. We got all this set up. I just need to name these buttons. I'll call this BTN Enter. And then I'm going to call this one BTN Close. All right. My buttons are ready to go. I'm going to double click on this fast. I'm going to du fast double click. And then I'll get this, this uh, BTN Enter right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type it first and I'll come back and then I'll explain it so we're not sitting here watching me type. All right, so let's look at what we have here. Inside of my BTN Enter, what I have here is I have a variable called my row. I'm just going to use that because I'm going to have to reference all the rows inside of this sheet. Then I take this variable and I go into the user info sheet. So as you can see here, the name of it is user info. And I put that in quotes. And I have to go from the range of the very, this is the maximum number of rows Excel can have. I want you to check from that all the way up to this special variable called x1 up. So that x1 up is going to bring me all the way up to the front row, the top row. So it's going to go from the last row to the top row, plus one. And it's checking to see if, the, if you can find one that's not empty. Once you find the one that's not empty, you're going to add one and then add this information, bring it back to my row. So it's just going to go, all this means is that it's going to go from the bottom, from the final row to the top row, and search for the row that is not empty, and then return that. Now, here what we're doing is, we're going to use this cells, and it is actually an array in a way. So we're talking, we're taking this row, because we know which row we're on, and we're going down to the columns of each of this row. So when it says my row one, basically it's talking about this here. When it says my row two, it's talking about this here, here, and then here when we get to row four. Finally, when I get to this one and I say row four dot activate, meaning the cursor is going to be over here. This is the final one that's going to be active. So let's see how this works. Um, I'm going to save this. You've got to make sure you save this as a macro enabled and then hit save. And then I can hit F5 to test it on here. And as you can see here, my form pops up, right? My form. And then I'm going to put my name there.
And once I do that, I can hit enter. And there it is, it fills in that row. If I would hit enter again, as you can see, it goes to the second row. We don't have the closed form working yet. We pretty much have almost everything working for us. We just got a few more things we need to finish. So let's go ahead and get to it. What I wanna now do is I want to get this closed form working, which is probably the easiest thing to do. So I'm gonna double click on this closed form. My form here, this user info form, and that is called UF info. So back inside of my code here, I'm gonna type UF info and then dot hide. And basically that closes or hides the form. Now when I go and I hit F5 and then I hide this form, I say close form, as you can see it closes. Now all we need is a way to open the form. So I'm gonna move this over to the side. I'm gonna then go over here inside of my uh, VBA projects. I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna insert myself a module. Run user form. Inside the run user form, I'm gonna put um, UF info and that's gonna be dot show. So this is gonna open up the form. Make sure I save that. Now the key is, I'm gonna come over here inside of my Excel spreadsheet here, and then I'm going to go here to insert, and I'm gonna insert myself a button here. I'm gonna take this button here, and which button? I'm gonna connect that to run user form. I'm gonna click OK. So I assign that to it, and then I can go ahead and change this to open form. Now I click on open form, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to open the form here. So once the form is open, you can add whatever you want. and hit enter and now people can just go ahead and put in whatever they want inside of your database or I'm sorry inside of your Excel sheet without them having to go through each one and manually go into each cell and put it in there they have a really nice user form that they're able to put that in there and then when they're done they just kind of close this up and when they want to add some more they just open up this user form and put it here. Now one thing I would add to this is maybe a clear button or something like that, but that's completely up to you and maybe a title or something. You can even add images to this, make it look nice. But so far, there you have it, creating user forms inside of Excel, having it add data to your sheets, making it easier for your users to be able to use your Excel spreadsheets. All right, so until next time, I'll see you guys later. Make sure if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you share this video and make sure you subscribe. Until next time, bye.